When we had last left the Tarnished, they continued their explorations in the areas south of the big castle gate wall, where they encountered pumpkin-headed dudes, people who would spin around a lot, and also a weird treasure chest. Yes, one that led to a completely different part of the world upon opening it. How bizarre, how strange. An immense vape cloud sucked them in to a mine that was filled with a giant shrimp man who was very angry and shot lasers. But even that was not the worst of their problems. For upon exiting that weird shrimp mine, did they uncover (gasps) some foul, twisted place filled with General Grievous and people with big stone heads. And much to their dismay, upon looking around, even bigger heads were found. A gigantic head, the size of a castle, was resting on the cliffside. And then they proceeded beyond that and found dogs with really big heads, birds with really big heads. Everything here had a big fucking head. There was also a dragon. With all these heads out of the way, they rested at a sight of grace and were greeted once again by the fair maiden. Malina. Malena? Melina. Something like that. And she brought the tarnished to the round table hold. A place of recuperation and merriment, maybe. It was now time to continue exploring some of its final areas. This is Elden Ring. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Should I also, um, we do have our flask stuff that we found along the way, remember? How do I, how do I do this? Oh, there we go. Let's enhance our flasks. Hmm, add charges? Oh, you know what? I need to read about the golden seed before I, I do that. Before we lose it, I should read about it. Oh, that's crafting, inventory, and then down here, nope, nope, there we go, bolstering materials. Golden seed, increases sacred flasks number of uses. Huh. A golden seed, found at the base of an illusory tree. Ooh, look at the picture of it, it's like a tumbleweed in and of itself. Increases... A f- sacred flask's number of uses can be used after resting at a site of grace. When the Elden Ring was shattered, these seeds flew from the Erd Tree, scattering across the various lands, as if life itself knew that its end had come. <gasps> I will use them on my drinking flask. <laughs> okay. It's a really important thing. It's now going to give me a nice drink. Boom. One more. Boom. We're up to six. Hell yes. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, and also, I did look up what's up with this... This person over here. Fia. And they are, in fact, the person mentioned in the opening. Right? Who we thought? And when you rest with them, they debuff your health by 5%, but also give you a fun item. I think we should do it. 5%? I can handle 5%, I think. Oh, my dear. Had a change of heart already. Let her hold you. Hold me! (gasps) My thanks. Great champion. You 
are very warm. Balderkin's blessing. Mm. What you felt light up inside you was a Balderkin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. How fucking weird. How weird. Oh, that's so weird. Did she only have one arm? I didn't even pay attention. It looks like she's got another under the cloak. Okay. Well, let's head on out. Let's go over to this other place. Yo, look at this person's big, like, is that a mushroom shield? Is that what I think it was? Okay. So we need to go up here. And what does this say? Jumping required ahead, but why is it always strong foe? Right. Well, there's a little risk in doing it here. Oh. Do the bloodstains work? Nope. Okay. Skill required ahead. I guess I'm fucked. Mad Tongue Alberic. Uh oh, you're some sort of wizard? Oh, you're bowing before me. Reverential bow. Oh fuck, how many can you do? Shit. Oh no, frostbite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to get out of that. That seems bad. Ooh. You got the big blood, huh? fuck they were doing there. Oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, thank goodness it's just the cloud. Okay, that seems simple enough. Good poke in. Uh-oh. Woo! Deftly avoided. It's just a cloud. Do they have more drinks, I wonder? Shit. Oh, sugar. me. Oh, we can definitely kill him. We can kill him for sure. Holy shit. Okay, we got him so low and I think they only have one drink. Okay. Oh, bows. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up to two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold left trigger for precision aiming. Use right stick to adjust your aim. Right trigger, arrow type one, and right bumper, arrow type two. Left trigger, precision aiming. Gotcha. Pretty sure that's similar to the other games, but I don't know if they allowed you to have two arrow types at once. Okay, good. Let's do it. Are they gonna bow again? Okay. 
It is an honor to face you in combat. Everybody's missing. Good shit. Jeez, what a spin. Oh, the frostbite. Okay, okay. Jeez, we accumulate a lot of frostbite that time real quick. Fucked us up bad. Whew. I wonder what we'll get from defeating them. Okay. Up here. I guess we could do our barbaric roar. I don't really know what kind of move set it gives us though. Oh, I don't like that. We're significantly slower now. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Fuck. Doing your weird bloodbath thing. Fuck off. Jeez, what a dude. Difficult to avoid every hit of that. Fuck me. How many are you going to blast me with? Fuck off. Oh, the super spin. It's very difficult to survive that super spin. Alright. Jeez. I don't remember if there were scythe weapons in the other games. This might be a new thing? I don't remember. Eh, there may have been in Bloodborne. That seems like a very Bloodborne thing to have. Okay. Let's rumble. Maybe I should try and do a, um... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was pretty good. Do the super spin. You better not do a super spin. Yeah, you're out, aren't you? Yeah, you're out. Okay. 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 I'm gonna slurp just to stay out of blast range. Okay. 
Got him. Oh, shit, there's more of them? Fuck off. Uh oh, it's a double spin. Okay. Acha! You dickhead! Good motherfucker! Summoning other players. Use the furl calling finger remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Gold signs indicate an ally. Red signs indicate an adversary. The multiplayer session will begin once one once either type has been summoned. You will take the role of the Host of fingers. Blah, there it is. Okay. Thank you for your boon. The taunter's tongue. What is this? Return to entrance. I did it. Okay. Before we return, is there anything else good down here? I don't have any lost runes to be restored. Oh, look, there's a passageway of some sort. Okay. This feels a lot more efficient than just, um, rolling. Where is this? Big balls. If only I had a pair! <laughs> okay, sure. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Huh. I don't know what this is from. Is there another rude dude in here? Oh, dear. Didn't expect fire. What's this? Poor soul. A cypherpata. Lover ahead. All all the more try gesturing. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I feel like the messages are significantly hornier this time around than in past games, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Okay. Have we searched it all? I suppose these do not open. Okay. Oh, there's a message here. Oh, you don't have the right, you don't have the right. In short, you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right. Dude, we're on the other side of that door then. Huh. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. So this is like a really cool area, I guess, then. Just in the opening, right? Where you can engage in PvP if you want. Hmm. Neat. Right? It's like the perfect area for PvP interested players. That's cool. I mean, it's not my thing, but it's great to have like a very easy to access one. And I'm sure there'll be other places as well, right? Return to entrance. Yes. Status. Death. When your death gauge is full, you die. <laughs> I think essentially what that said. <laughs> yeah, okay. I believe that. Let's see. Let's continue over here. Can we check in on these? Yeah. Oh, look, someone went on top of them. That's terrifying to me. Okay, purchase. Can I afford anything of interest here? Hmm. Memory stone. Where did- what does this get equipped in? Is the question that I have. What the fuck is this? I have no clue. Hmm. These stone sword keys, though. We need to remember. 4k a pop. That said, it may be better spent on levels, you know. Okay. Very well. 
Should we check our new items as well? We got this. Baldekin's Blessing. Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. Okay. By how much, I wonder. Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there is only peace. For in death, there can be no sensation. Which is the scariest thing of all. Okay. Over here. The Taunter's Tongue. For once, not a finger. Item for online play. Lures in invaders. This allows your world to be invaded without any furled finger cooperators present. And it also shortens the interval between windows of opportunity for invasion. Additionally, enables the arrival of a second invader to join when a cooperator is present. With two invaders, the maximum number of cooperators becomes one. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about. The PvP is a lot more opt-in this time around. You won't just randomly get invaded by other players. Which is probably for the best. Like I said, there was that thing going around in Dark Souls 3 where people were getting, like, hacked by invaders. Okay. Like, not their computer, but, you know, they lost items on their character or something weird like that. Or levels and stats. Okay. So, hey, I guess if you're engaging in PvP like that, I don't know. Can you back up your save in some way? Consider that. Alright, let's rest here at the table. Let's see. Do I have enough to level up? No, I need 3.1k. Alright. Let us... Oh, no, wait, yeah. I fast travel out of here via the map. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I think we go over here before I forget about it. Right? There is this cave right here. I'm, like, on the precipice of forgetting about its very existence. Okay, let's travel to Gatefront. Sounds good. When you level up, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. We know about that. Alright. To me, horsey. Very good. Alright, where was this place at? It was somewhere up along this. Oh, I think I put my marker, placed it incorrectly. Let's take care of this dickhead. There you go. Gotcha. Did we draw any others, Ire? No. Here we go. Man, yeah, it's so wild. Oh, look, wow, there's actually a Sight of Grace inside. But yeah, it's so wild to see these caves and shit, like, telegraphed with light in this way. Because one of my first experiences with Dark Souls 1 was remembering um, the shit in, like, An Orlando, was it? When you had to recognize, like, oh shit, I'm at a dead end. And the game now, there's, like, a small opening in this, like, fence or whatever. And I'm expected to jump on top of buildings and, like, walk along the, like, uh, the building's trim or skirt or whatever, right? And that was so fucking buck wild to me. I, I remember when I came to that, I had to look it up. I was like, how would anyone know to do this? <laughs> okay. Touch grace. Oh. Hello. The summoning pool is now functional. Oh, have we needed to actually activate all these manually? I mean, I'd, I'm not in need. Well, what is that? Look, there's some weird green shit right there. Oh, it's... It's wolves. Okay. Yeah, what is this green shit? Is this loot? Cave moss. Hmm. It's very, like, iridescent. <laughs> okay. I think I want to sneak over and uh, annihilate one of them. If I can. Jeez, a lot of people die in here. Look, there's some in that room as well. Oh! 
Oh dear. Oh dear, they're quite rough. They're quite rough. Oh! Jeez, they can jump on top of shit too? Okay, at least I one-shot them. <laughs> Look at them go! Okay. Whew. Sorry, beasts. Time for dog. Yeah, time for dog. Ah, God. Time for pickle. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh shit, time for dog. Okay. Ooh! Secret dog! Okay. Oh my god, they it sounds so fucking sad. That makes sense in this game, though, right? <laughs> and of all the games to give to make the player kill something really cute and, like, have it do the saddest fucked up noise to make you feel like a complete piece of shit, perfect game for that, right? <laughs> just, just get rid of that in every other game and just condense them all into these fucked up games, right? Just make it the most fucked up thing. All right. Silver Firefly. Or I guess, yeah, taking the Silver Firefly <laughs> reminds me of another game that did something like that. Which I guess was also kind of a, a perfect enough game to subject people to uh, that kind of horror. Okay. Let's go on over here. Alright. Have we pulled aggro? I think we most certainly have. Alright. What's my light? Oh, shit. Okay. What's my light jump attack on this? Okay, it's a big swipe. Good. We may want to have preference for that. I'm gonna do a slurp. This is loop around? I think? Yeah, okay, and that's the way we came in from. Good. Alright. Oh, there's a bod here. Oh, they got fucked up by the dogs, I guess. Okay. Behold, legs. Left, arms. True. Holy shit, it's dark as hell. Oh no, is there a boss here? Are you shitting me? Guard counter required ahead. Really? Try confusion. Death ahead. What? Beastman of Farumazula. It's a beastman. You do look like a little freak. Oh shit, we do a load of damage to you. Oh no, your your enemy type is little dude freaking the fuck out. Shit, we're annihilating them. Oh my god! I didn't take a single fucking hit! I'm the ultimate man! I'm the beast man now, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Is there anything good in here? First off, I did it. You did. Well done. First off, boss. Damn, look at them. They got fucked up by the beast man. Praise the bright spot. It is a bright spot here. Okay. Huh. 
Okay. Well, let's get out. Well, let's let's browse our new item real quick. What did we get? Am I looking at crafting again now? <laughs> I've been pretty keen on doing that. Oh, Windy Crystal Tier. What does this do? Enhances dodge rolls for a time in mixed physic. A crystal tier formed slowly over the ages, where the Erd tree bounty falls to the ground, can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction increases the effectiveness of dodge rolls for a certain duration. However, damage taken is also increased during the concoction's effect. Wow, good for being naked, I guess. Okay. Or fighting something with great amounts of damage. Twin blade, right? We didn't even get to look at this. A sword with blades on both sides of the hilt. This weapon is difficult to wield and demands high dexterity. It can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual handing spinning attacks. Okay. 18 dex. What's the talisman that I've found, though? There we go. Flame Drake Talisman. Boosts fire damage negation. By how much? Right? How much how much does this do? Let's see. Equipment. Huh. Scroll? No. Switch view right. Okay, there we go. Okay, it gives you about 11 more points of negation. Is that a percentage, I wonder? Let's see, help. Your defense power and damage negation against fire attacks. The former is calculated via attributes, while the latter is calculated via defensive gear and any additional effects. Okay. So what is the difference between defense power slash damage negation? Hmm. I'm hoping that damage negation is a percentage decrease, because 10% less damage from something like that could be useful. If it's enough to get you out of, like, like to give you one extra hit from something, that's very worthwhile. Right, although it doesn't sound like a lot. If it's enough to edge you over to where instead of getting two shot, you're three shot, sometimes that's just enough breathing room in a fight, you know? Okay. Very neat. Let's rest here. Get our flasks back. Wonderful. Okay. Good. Now where the hell should we go? I should probably get rid of this thing. How do I? Yeah, how do I get rid of that? Menu explanation. Yeah, how do I remove a marker? <laughs> I can remove all of them, which I guess I can I could do right now. Oh, you got to place it and then it look down there in the bottom left. Once you've already got one of the same, right it locked on, remove. Okay, I see. Yeah, because all the markers I've placed, I've been to now. I don't need them anymore. Groveside Cave. Okay. Well, where should we go to now? Oh, uh, let's go over to those swords, you know? Can we fast travel from anywhere? That's a good question. Right, because wasn't there a bunch of swords in the ground or whatever somewhere around there? I think, yeah, you can just fast travel from anywhere in the world. Wow, you don't even need a homeward bone. That's so nice. Okay. You can just do it. Wow, yeah, it's, it's literally right here. This point of interest. There are a bunch of strange, like, rams or something, or sheep or goats, or... I don't know. A yak? Is that a yak? Look at this. I hope I don't have to meet whoever was using this sword. <laughs> Visions of night. Ah, hero. 
examine. Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Michaela, or, or Mikela, now on his knees, begging for mercy. Holy shit, that's grim. Okay. I guess it's a hero... Yeah. The hero here is the blade of Makila. Can I break these? Ugh, I hate you! No. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, that's odd. We didn't really... It's just some shit out here. Oh, what the fuck? Well, something's going on over that way. Maybe we should look. To me, Torrent. Oh, Shazbot, look at all this. Okay. There's a couple of rude dudes out here. Anything else? Whatever happened, happened right there, though. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, we should take these fools out. Oh, dear. There you go. Sorry, horse. Eh, got another dismounter. I guess we could sell it if we so desire. Hmm. More ruined stuff. Yeah, this is some of the ruin that's probably from this supposed sky temple, right? Don't really need to kill these birds because they just drop stuff for um, ranged players. Okay. Let's see. Over here? Oh, wow. More ruins. Wow, there's a bunch here. Okay. Oh, there's some sort of vicious beast. Or maybe it's peace-loving? No, it looks vicious. <laughs> Eat a butt, dude. Oh, cool. We got a weird-looking hat. And some raisins. Oh, I love raisins. Oh, shit. Whiffed it in a major way. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Oh, I don't like that. It's time to eat a butt. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So what awaits over in these areas? There's someone, like, suffering in a major... <laughs> okay, someone just fell over dead. Cool. That wasn't even a blood stain. That was just someone live reaction of them getting obliterated. Okay. Oh, jeez. The Million Dog Challenge. Oh! Oh, they're doing it to me! Oh! <laughs> okay, well. Sure. I deserve it. <laughs> oh, this was, this was staked. What? I'm not even paying attention whenever we're in stakes, and it's such a surprise when I die. I'm like, oh, shit, I can actually respawn pretty close to here. Oh, yeah, look. There's our goodie. Okay. Well, let's run over this way and grab our stuff real fast. Because that is enough for a level. Did you see me fucking lock onto the fucking bird? Okay. Alright. Oh shit! Oh, it's happening again! Okay. Jesus, there are a bunch of horsemen out there. 
<laughs> you see all them? Oh, they're coming in for the kill now. Eat a butt, dude. Eat a butt, dude. Eat a butt. Kaiden gauntlets. Kaden. Alenko. Got their trousers too. Usually gotta do the loyalty mission for that first. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> okay. There we go. Fuck! A double down dude! Oh God! <laughs> oh man. I want that purple right there. Okay. Maybe we try it on foot. Fuck it. Let's try it on foot, I think. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Actually, before we do that, let's roll in there and just grab our shit real fast. Yeah, it's in there. Look, it's got a marker on our dude dar. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, dude. Chill the fuck out. You got your barbaric rage, huh? Boom. Uh. I'm chopping. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna get chopped! Oh! <laughs> Jeez, there are too many of these mounted men around here. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Oh man, and we weren't at a site of grace either. Oh shit. Or we weren't at stakes, I should say, because we weren't inside the camp when we went down. Okay, fortunately it's right here, I guess. This checkpointing is quite generous. Oh shit. Fuck away from me, you weird bastard! Oh, you're stuck in that shit. <laughs> oh, well, this is fun. Oh shit. I'm scared. Okay. You dead? What an anus. Of course. All right. Good. All right. 
Is there like a bugle boy around here or some shit? Oh shit, that hurts me. Okay. More gauntlets. There you are. Oh. Well, you see all those things gallivanting around back there? Who's this? This motherfucker is sleeping? Ooh, not anymore, you're not! <laughs> Fuck off. Now, what is this? Armorer's cookbook. Worth the uh, effort. Okay. Very well. Is this a place on our map? No, it's just a nothing. Okay. I wish you could place markers on your map like a cross, right? Like a, a hash or something to be like, oh, I've cleared it out. Was playing Project Zomboid earlier in the year. And I very much enjoyed just filling my map with crosses as I cleared out buildings and whatnot. Oh, look, there's a giant man up there. Did you see him in the distance? We'll get a better view from here if you didn't. Yeah, see? They're facing the other way. Okay. Oh, more ruined stuff. Alright, should we go over to that ruin or what? Hmm. Oh, what does this say? Time for summoning. Really? Stealth required ahead. If you say so. Oh shit. The pack. Oh, let's get him. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling kind of guilty about this. <laughs> Uh oh, something is yelling. Is this guy gonna throw some shit over here? That motherfucker is up high enough to where it seems like they're gonna th throw some shit down at me. Let's get away. I don't like that. Some bad business. Oh shit, is that a sight of grace? Wow, it is! Okay. Oh. Good luck. For what? Huh. Alright. Well, this is a good time to read up on some of our weird shit. Right? Let's see. Inventory. What have we got? If you'd like to stick around, we'll be doing a little bit of reading here. About this cookbook. Armorer's cookbook. A record of crafting techniques left by an armorer who served the great General Radan. Contains knowledge of dealing with rot, the application of fire in particular. Acquired the knowledge to craft the following. Fire grease, drawstring fire grease, fireproof dried liver. Hmm. So rot is dealt with by applying fire. Wasn't it Scarlet Rot was the issue that we were dealing with? Hmm. In that swamp, it was actually a Scarlet Rot swamp rather than technically poison. How about this? Crepus's Black Key Crossbow. A black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It has a very long range. Weapon of Crepus, who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. Sure hope they're not coming to kill me. Sure hope those things screaming aren't coming to fucking kill me. Kaiden Helm. Helm worn by Kaiden sellswords. These hulking, fearless mercenaries said to hail from the mountaintops of the wintry north are adept at fighting on horseback. Kaiden is the name of their home settlement. Okay. Didn't we get gloves? Yeah. Same, same. 
And the trousers. Yep, same as well. Over here. Oh, the painting. Work of a wandering artist, reminiscence of a painting titled Red Mane. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Oh. So not a painting you go inside of, but one that you should visit the locale of. Well, of course, it is an open world, uh, whatever. Oh, these notes, of course. Right, how do we get the Flask of Wondrous Physic? Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. A Flask of Wondrous Physic still remains in the Third Church of America, north of Mistwood. Well, we don't know where or what the fuck that is. Probably be probably because we've been going south a whole lot. <laughs> Gravity Stone Fan. Shard of rock found in the wake of a meteorite strike. Whoa. It is imbued with a particularly weighty magic. Uses FP to emit gravitational shockwave. Wow, and these are consumables. Okay. The desperate ones who scavenge for these shards dub themselves star callers. That's kind of cool. And this one is similar, but it's thrown. Hmm. How wild. Glintstone Firefly, Silver Firefly. I guess we should read these. Firefly that gives off a silvery light. Material, material used in crafting items. Found near bodies of cold water untouched by sunlight. The light of fireflies is believed to have an alluring magic. Silver light is considered to invite riches. A firefly whose glowing tail has hardened into glintstone. Widely found in Lyurnia Lake. Or Lyurnia Lake. Material used for crafting. Alas, now that its tail is glintstone. It can no longer beguile potential mates. Maidenless. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I ever read about the, the weird penis turtleneck? A splendid lengthy cut of turtleneck meat. What the fuck is going on, man? Considered an especially nutritious ingredient in the south of the lands between. Huh. Maybe in this world, turtles are like these tortoises and shit. They're just common, right? Maybe they're not like, like it's frowned upon to, to eat one because they're so rare. Probably not. We're probably just all fucked up. <laughs> it's probably the more alive, likely uh, thing. <laughs> Faintly luminescent moss that grows in dark caves. Material used in crafting items. A fundamental ingredient for medicinal boluses. Okay. Neat. Oh, the Staff of Loss. Staff missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. This staff is only capable of casting invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough to wield it. Huh. Okay. What's the requirement on it? 14 int. Not too bad. Okay. Neat. Let's see. How about this other equipment, though? We have these other trousers. Yeah, they're lower in weight. By two. Well, no, not quite. But the poise is kind of a big fact of it, isn't it? Huh. Tempted to put some shit into equip load, you know? Well, let's rest here. Let's level up a bit. We have at least enough for one level, maybe two. Let's see here, let's get... Should we put more into strength? Kind of tempted to. Yeah. Well, let's see, how much does our equip load go up per point? 
About one. Max equip load, I should say. Our stamina goes up as well. As well as our defense by a tick. I'm keen on the strength, though. There we are. Oh, should we go meet back up with that, um, with Santa Claus? Let's do that before I forget. Let's go meet back up with Santa Claus. I wonder if we can get Santa Claus to chill out at our uh, base of operations or if they're not welcome. Okay. When you carry more than 70% of your... Okay. This Probably... Way oh! May I have a word? <gasps> what? Who are you? Oh, I've seen you. Oh, I think you were also in the opening, but I've, I think I remember seeing you. You have, like, um... Yeah. I saw you in the, um... One of the pre-release trailers. Hello. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yeah, I can call the spectral steed. She looks cool as fuck. Also, she's got General Grievous arms. I can call the spectral steed. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. Who was Torrent's former master? Was it not, um, Melina? Huh. Lone wolf ashes. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Oh, this is... Okay, right. We were talking about this at the very beginning of the game with the uh, imp keepsake, right? This lets you summon things to help out. I'm not sure if I want to do this, right? This seems like um, something that I don't need. Maybe, though. Right? Like, if we get to a particularly difficult encounter, I'll do it. Maybe. Yeah, because look, it also, it's so fulfilling, it takes the role of multiplayer. Yeah. Okay, with a, with a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Yeah, so this is another cool way for, um helping new players get into the game, right? Because this will help you immensely. And as, from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure, right? I remember in like the combat overview, there'll be a lot of different kinds of these. So you can kind of pick and choose what kind of helper you want. And it can sort of go with your build or um, sort of shore up your weak spots and whatnot. I think that's super neat. Okay, close. We'll try to avoid using them though. I'm, I'm not sure if I need them because like I've said, I've played all the past ones and beat them. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Oh my god. I want to follow you! Will you be my maiden? <laughs> Can I be yours? <laughs> Okay. Confusion. Oh, right, yeah, we never even checked this shit, huh? Let's see, is Santa Claus here? Yo, what's up, Santa? Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? I do care. But first... Chat? There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. Other Santas? If the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished. And mine. Dude, I like you, Santa. I like what you're putting down. I appreciate that. You know what? 
Sure. I agree. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. Fuck, I'll try. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> Kale goes fucking hard, okay. Ooh, just as the breeze kicks up? Okay. Let's see, what have you got? Have, have you got anything new for me? Doesn't seem like it. No. There are these pots. I'm tempted to buy them. Should I? I could buy exactly all of them if I wanted. I could also buy a torch. Could be useful. You know what? I'll buy these three for now. And then we'll have to come back for the torch. So this person can never come to our round table because they've been spurned by the golden whatever, right? Because aren't all the people in there... They're like the ruling class or whatever Goodbye. you would say? Nice to do business. Yo, yeah, will you play me a cool song? No? Okay. Smithing table. It is interesting that although we have a smith at the round table area, this stuff is accessible as well. Are we going to be faced with a choice to where we can choose between these, like, these wanderers, these vagabond-like people out here in the open world who are also, like, to be clear, just as this person said, we could kill him right now. In true Dark Souls fashion, this friendly NPC, we could walk up and start fighting, right? Whereas the ones at the round table, we can't. And they do have something of a sinister air about them. But maybe that's just because they were in the opening cutscene. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it plays out. Normally, that's not normally a, you know, a big consideration in these games. Oh. Well done. Thank you. But to what end? I don't know. Let's see if we can get, uh... Oh, Torrent is not able to access here. Still no out of stamina. I'm just gonna rate that up. <laughs> it's not very good, but I'm, just, I'm gonna rate it up and be nice. Oh shit. Torrent also cannot be summoned here. Here? Okay, let's just be on the fucking ground then. There we are. Lovely. Ho! Ho, 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 ho. Sorry, Kale. I'm, I'm taking your, uh, your line here. Because <laughs> you're Santa. You are Santa. What the fuck? Oh, right. The crucified person. Okay. Up here. Shit. Alright. I think this is the one and only way up there. Assuming there's even anything up there. Oh, fuck. Okay. Like this. Good. Look, there's another sign over there. Torrent! Jeez. <laughs> okay. Once we're up there, we need to look around because there's other platforms behind us. They may have something as well. Are there items up there? There's markers. <gasps> okay. See, unfortunately, you can't turn precisely backward. They, you have to, you have a bit of a turning radius. Which I'm worried will make Torrent, like, get fucked up a bit here. Okay. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess we found out. 
Yeah, you can't even get up in there. Torrent can't jump that high unless you get an upgrade later somehow. I guess if there were something, you'd see markers actually saying as much. First off, up. Well? I don't see anything. I think it's just a fucking red herring, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, is that side any higher? Yeah, I, th I don't think there's anything up there with that. Either that or it's far more complicated and beyond my means to reach. Okay, well, when next we come back, we'll continue looking around here, right? Should we... Hmm. Where should we go, I wonder? We kind of have a lot available to us still, right? We haven't looked everywhere inside of this, like, swamp. <clears throat> There's a little beach over here we haven't checked. There's stuff around here in this plains area that we have yet to check. Of course, in this fog of war all the way to the right. And then we could just head up into this, you know? Which the game really wants me to do. <laughs> but I've been putting off because I've been too enthralled by the open world. Yeah, there's this cave. Ah, oh, we need to check this out. Okay. Sorry, main objective. <laughs> You'll have to wait for just a bit longer. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>